Welcome to Twisted Threes, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss the next Twisted Stories. To support the channel, you can visit us at twistedthrees.com. Now let's see how twisted the world is today. This is the story of the late actor Johnny Lewis, best known for playing Kip Epps in Sons of Anarchy, had a short and troubled life. He died as a result of an accident at 28 years old. Born in October 1983, Johnny Lewis was a middle child raised in Los Angeles by a father who worked at the Valley Life Improvement Center, which as he reported, incorporates Scientology into its counseling. However, it is unclear whether the late actor was raised as a Scientologist. He appeared to have died from some type of fall. Johnny's career in the entertainment industry began when he was 16 years old, taking a small role on the TV show, Undressed. Then, he appeared in Seventh Heaven, Malcolm in the Middle, and The Sausage Factory. During the 2000s, he appeared in several TV series, establishing himself as a promising star in Hollywood. His career skyrocketed in 2008 when he was cast as Kip Hafsack Epps in Sons of Anarchy. While he had a prolific career, his personal life was quite troubled, to say the least. In February 2012, Johnny was arrested for battery in Los Angeles. The victim was a woman named Shirley Wendell. He was eventually charged with assault, battery, and resisting arrest and served 12 days behind bars. Apart from that, he was placed on probation for three years and ordered to stay away from Shirley. Only a week after his first arrest, Johnny Lewis, who dated Katy Perry between 2005 and 2006, was taken into custody for entering a Los Angeles residence through a window. He was charged with burglary and loitering, and in April, he was sent to jail. One month later, the court ordered them to transfer him to a treatment center, so he was taken to Ridgeview Ranch in Altadena, California, a specialist facility for mental health, alcohol, and drug-related problems. In August 2012, Johnny was sentenced to serve a year in prison, plus another 291 days for assault with a deadly weapon, from an incident that took place in Los Angeles in January 2012, an attempted burglary. However, on September 21, 2012, he was released from jail. According to ABC News, the reason why he was released was unclear. Less than a week later, on September 26, 2012, Johnny Lewis passed away. He and his 81-year-old landlady, Catherine Davis, were found dead at a residence in the Los Feliz neighborhood. About his death, LAPD Commander Andrew Smith said. He appeared to have died from some type of fall either from the stairway, or from the balcony, or from one of the roofs. Investigators also found that Davis's body suffered major trauma before she passed, and Johnny, who was renting a room from Davis, was considered the main subject in the homicide investigation. Johnny Lewis' death and final moments were described in detail by Los Angeles Magazine. The late actor opposedly confronted and killed Davis in her room and then killed her cat. After that, he got outside and attacked a handyman and a neighbor climbed into the residence and made it to either the upper patio or roof. From that point on, it's unclear if he slipped and fell or just jumped, but his death was ruled an accident. When Lewis died, his lawyer Jonathan Mandel pointed out that his former client was delusional and that he rebuffed suggestions to seek treatment. Mandel confessed that he recommended that Lewis get treatment twice, but that it was the late actor's decision not to take that option. The lawyer added that he didn't know the cause of his psychosis, but that it clearly impeded his judgment. Alternative sentencing specialist Wendy Feldman, who dealt with Lewis cases before his passing, pointed out that he was dealing with psychopathy or bipolar disorder and that he needed a psychiatrist. It is important to mention that Johnny Lewis' toxicology report did not show any traces of drugs or alcohol in his system.